Hey everyone, it's the Life Doctor here. And, well, I'm just like this because I just uh, came in from running some errands and I was like, oh, I kind of like this look, so I'll just keep it on. Anyways, um, I wanted to come quickly and continue on with the relationship series that I started um, not too long ago. I think it might've been a week ago or a little less than a week ago. And I wanted to bring to you two more uh, important tips or keys that you need to be looking for in terms of uh, just preparing yourself, getting yourself uh, ready for potentially marrying someone. So uh, the first one I'm going to share today is, is he preparing for the future? So the person that you are interested in ought to make his intentions clear, and it should be clear from his behavior, from his actions, that he is actually preparing for the future. So listen, ladies, a man should not want to move into your house. A man should only want to move into your heart. And so he should be doing what he needs to do to prepare for a wife. So is he gainfully employed? Is he saving his money? Is he getting himself ready so that he can have something to offer to you? Now, of course, this is not taking away um, from the fact that you uh, need to be preparing yourself and have something to offer as well. But we're talking about things that you need to be looking at for keys that are, that are important for you to be um, focusing on if you are interested in a particular person and, you know, are looking to get married. So is he preparing for the future? Is he preparing for a wife? And the second thing that I'm going to share is it is super important to check out this individual's friends. A person's friends, especially uh, his close friends, can tell you a lot about this person that you might not have seen as yet. Now, when we dialogue with people, when we interact with people, especially um, in the beginning phases of the relationship, we tend to put our best foot forward. Uh, you know, it's something that we do naturally. We want to impress people. And so there are aspects of this person that you might not have seen yet that might not have been revealed because he's trying to impress you. So if you are able to observe him and kind of check out his circle of friends, you can learn a lot about this person because when this person is in a friendship circle and in a more relaxed setting, he's going to be more comfortable. And hopefully at that point, he's not trying to impress you and you can kind of see more of who this person is. Um, along with checking out his friends, you also want to make sure, if possible, it's not always possible, but you want to make sure, if possible, that you can check out his relationship with his parents, particularly with his mother. Now, ladies, listen, how a man treats his mother is a sneak preview of how he's going to treat you. So you really want to have an opportunity to observe that interaction. Now, like I said, that might not be possible. At least begin to have discussions with this individual about the relationship with their mother um, if you're not able to observe it for yourself. What is he saying about his mother? Uh, what kind of relationship is he describing um, that you know he has between him and his mother? If his mother, um, you know, is not open for discussion at this time, maybe between him and his sisters, maybe between him and his auntie or grandmother, but you want to make sure that you find out how he interacts with women other than you. Because again, this is going to give you uh, some tips uh, and some clues as to how he's going to treat you. And by the way, if he's not open to talking about his relationship with his parents, his siblings, family, etc., then that is a red flag and you want to be mindful of that, okay? So, you know, unfortunately, the reason why it's so important to uh, get to know his relationship patterns with his family, particularly his mother, is because a lot of times when there are um, unresolved issues between a mother and a son, those issues that are unresolved significantly impact how he treats you and other women in his life. And so what that means is any unresolved issues that he might have with his mother, uh, that's going to transfer into the relationship with you as his girlfriend. And if you decide to get married, ultimately with you as his wife. So you really want to make sure. So uh, the first one was, is he preparing for the future? And the second one is make sure that you check out his relationships with his friends as well as with his family, particularly with his mother.
All right, so I hope that these tips and these keys have been helpful for you uh, as you prepare to really look seriously at marriage and get yourself ready for that phase of your life. Uh, if you want more information on how to strengthen your relationships, how to grow into personally, how to be empowered, then I would encourage you to check out the link below that says check out my ebook. I have a relationship ebook that has been published on Amazon Kindle and you can get it now for a very reasonable price. And if you are single, if you are dating, engaged, married, divorced, widowed, remarried, whatever your status in life, there is something in it for you. This is for both men and women, uh, young and young at heart. All right, so why don't you go ahead and share this video with somebody, give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, you can do so now, it is absolutely free. And I will see you in the next video, bye.